hello guys you're welcome back to my channel and if you're watching me for the first time my name is Ade Doi and you're welcome to my channel i create natural hair content and if you would like to see more of my videos more of my content then please feel free to go through my channel and kindly consider subscribing to my channel as well okay so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you some of the products that i feel like you don't need you don't need this product i have not used this product in my hair for about three years now and my hair is thriving my hair is actually medium length and i feel like these products are completely unnecessary you might need them maybe once in a while but they are totally unnecessary your hair can completely thrive without them so i feel like a lot of people are just buying things that they do not need and they are just using it on their hair because they see it trending on youtube or because they see it trending on instagram okay so those are the products that i'm going to be sharing with you in this video if you eventually find this video helpful or you enjoy watching it then let me know in the comment section and do not forget to give me a thumbs up all right so without further ado let's move right into today's video Now, the thing is, this product that I'm about to mention, I'm sure that in your minds, you might be thinking that what is what exactly is doing saying like these products have their benefits i know these products have their benefits what i'm just trying to say is that they are not exactly they are not completely necessary like your hair can do without them your hair can grow to whatever goal that you are trying to reach and without using these products basically that is what i'm trying to say but if you feel like you need to use this product then please feel free go ahead and use this product if you feel like they are working for your hair and your hair thrives on them okay but basically speaking generally speaking i feel like these products are not important and they are not necessary for hair growth okay so the product number one that i'm going to be talking about are ayurvedic herbs yeah ayurvedic herbs are nice and good because they have lots of nutrients that they add to your hair i know some people that they their hair has become fuller ever since they started using ayurvedic herbs but Ayurvedic herbs are not so important in my opinion because there are a lot of people that because I know for a fact that there are a lot of people that have grown their hair to waist length and to tail bone length and they do not use Ayurvedic herbs. So you going thinking that the next thing you need in your hair regimen are Ayurvedic herbs, you might be getting it all wrong. If you still don't understand the basic things that you need for your hair to grow and now you're using Ayurvedic herbs, I feel like that could be the wrong step to take at that point if you do not know the basic things you need for your hair. If you do not know all those moisturizing and silly detangling, deep conditioning, all of those other basic things that your hair needs and you want to jump to Ayurvedic herbs, I feel like it is a totally wrong step. I feel like you need to get some things right before you can move to Ayurvedic herbs. So I feel like Ayurvedic herbs are not very important in your natural hair journey and they are not very necessary once you have gotten the basic things right you know the things that you need to do to your hair to make them to make your hair thrive then you cannot proceed to oh i want my hair to get fuller i want this and this in my hair i want this color in my hair then you can now start considering going for ayurvedic herbs because many years ago when i started my natural hair journey ayurvedic herbs was not in trend as it is right now and people were growing their hair my hair was thriving and I felt good with my hair so i feel like ayurvedic herbs they are, they are just additional things that can boost your hair growth or add specific things to your hair the next product that i'm going to be talking about i know i know in some people's mind you might be thinking that hmm doing don't, don't cross the line don't cross the line don't cross the line but for real i don't feel like chibi, chibi butter is very important some people say that chibi butter is very good in sealing the moisture in your hair but i feel like if you get a very good hair, they will seal the moisture in your hair okay so i feel like chibi butter is not very important i mean many years ago we didn't know what chibi butter was many of us did not know what chibi butter was and we were growing our hair and our, our hair was thriving okay i just feel like chibi butter is not something that is very important to your natural hair journey your natural hair can thrive without chibi butter because chibi butter is trending because a lot of bloggers are talking about it because a lot of vendors are using it to make money this time they will tell you all sort of things that will make you want to buy chibi butter but don't fall for it it might not be what you need at that particular time chibi butter is not very important in my own opinion in my own opinion again in my own opinion chibi butter might have other benefits but you just thinking that chibi butter is going to take your hair from cw hair to waist bone length within a couple of months it's a completely it's a big fat lie chibi butter is not going to grow your hair if you do not know the basic things that your hair needs to thrive okay 
chibi butter is not going to do you anything because like i said there are some basic things that you need there are some basic products that you need and i already discussed that in one of my videos the link is going to be up here as well as in the description box so you might want to check that video out to see some of the products that i consider very important very very important okay so chibi butter might not be what you need to grow your hair from TWA to waist length. It might not perform magic to your hair. So I feel like it is very unnecessary. Okay. So the next product that I feel like it is completely unnecessary. Honestly speaking, this one is unnecessary, but people tend to jump on trends a lot. And this might be doing more damage to your hair than good. And what product is that? That is rice water. Mm -hmm. Rice water. Honestly speaking, I've considered using rice water before, but rice water is not something that is sustainable. You cannot continue to use rice water especially when you're not used to it. I mean, if you're an adult now, I don't think rice water is something that you can continually use because it's not sustainable, except if rice water is infused into commercial product. That is another way to use rice water. But, but basically just preparing fermented rice water in your kitchen and using it on your hair, it might do you more damage than good. Forget the fact that it is working for a lot of people on YouTube. Rice water is not sustainable. The fact that it even has a foul smell makes it very, very discouraging, most especially for me to use on my hair. Rice water is not sustainable and it is not going to magically make your hair grow from TWA to waist length within a couple of months. Rice water is one of those products that is very unnecessary, very unimportant natural hair product that a lot of people tend to, a lot of people are jumping on because they are seeing it everywhere. You don't need it, sis. You don't need rice water. If you moisturize your hair well, if you seal in the moisture properly, you keep your hair in protective styles, you hold your scalp, you hold your hair. I mean, your hair will thrive really well and your hair will grow really well. If you do the basic things that your hair needs, if you do the basic things for natural hair growth to take care of your hair, I mean, I feel like your hair will grow. Your hair will grow. It might not be that fast, but your hair will be healthy because once your hair is healthy, length will definitely follow. It might be slow, but once your hair is healthy, sees, I am assuring you that you'll be comfortable with your hair. That's the truth. Once your hair is healthy, you'll be comfortable with your hair, regardless of the length, because you will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. So rice water, you really do not need it, okay? Other products that I feel like you do not need, and a lot of people tend to jump on it, are DIYs. Yes, don't get me wrong. DIYs are good, most especially if that is what you have started using and you feel like they have been working for your hair. For example, I have a friend, her name is Natural Chi. She's a YouTuber here too. And her hair is up to waist length and she said she has never used any commercial product any store bought product on her hair that she has strictly been using diys but the fact that it works for her doesn't mean that you also need to start using strictly diys on your hair i feel like diys cannot work for everybody me personally i do not think diys can work for me because i am not used to it and i don't think i will ever be used to a diy product because they are even difficult to store because once it goes bad, it goes bad. You have to prepare another one. So DIYs for me are very unimportant and very unnecessary. Just go for store bought products that you know that your hair will respond to very well and your hair will still thrive. But like I said, if you know that you use DIY once in a while, it is not a bad thing. But you considering DIYs like mixing avocado, potatoes, onion juice, all those DIYs and, th and thinking that your hair will grow from CWA to waist length overnight magically in a couple of months then you are deceiving yourself your hair will not grow that way you need to understand the type of diy you want to use and you need to know how to use the diys for your hair but generally speaking diy is not going to take your hair from zero to hundred in a couple of months all right so what other products do you think are very unnecessary that people jump on that people jump on anyhow anyhow just let me know in the comment section if you agree with my unnecessary products let me know in the comment section as well okay if you enjoy watching this video or if you find it helpful again do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye